This is an altered file folder that I just finished, and uh, I've put some seam binding on the two, the four pockets here, the four flaps in the front that that cover the that make the cover up, and you can just untie it and they flap open, which I'm going to show you. But I have to put the camera at a different angle, so hang on here. All right, that should do it. Okay. So here's the bottom flap, obviously, with a girl in Paris and her, her little poodle. And over here it says Paris. And this is a, a manila file folder, a couple of them, that I pieced together. And I've also inked the edges to give it a vintage look. This is bridal applique that I put on uh, these folders here. And then here is a shabby mannequin uh, image with some pretty uh, trim and over here is just yeah okay some pretty um, wedding applique bridal applique with uh, this little face here figure okay so to open it you just pull it unties and easily ties back up and then we open it and we have one, two, three, four, five, six flaps right there. This is for a journaling spot, a place where you can write whatever you want to. And then this is a little notebook that I made out of um, paper for you to... I've got some decorative paper in there as well, yeah. except that it won't come apart. Well, there's a few pieces in here. Okay. A little bit of glue stuck still. Oh, jeez. But it is sewn with your um, pamphlet stitch. So it's, it'll stay together. And then here we have a pocket. And I put two really pretty mannequin tags in there. And they're blank on the back. So you can write anything you want on them so that makes a very pretty pocket and you can add you know your own tags whatever you want to in there you've got plenty of room and here we've got some bridal applique and over here I have um, a lace pocket with some trim and this comes out and you could see on the back oh guess I'm gonna have to cover that I didn't notice it all right, it's going to be plain on the back. It's going to be white on the back for you to be able to write on. And this just says, travel expands uh, the mind and the heart. It's just a little sentiment. All right, so we have that. I'll take these out so they don't fall out. And then we open it. And make sure you push down things when you open there. And when you open it right away in the center... We've got um, a shabby notepad up here that you can write, or you can stick tickets in there, you can stick tags in there, anything you want, because it's nice, nice and tight. And in here I've put a little notepad for more writing and coffee, with coffee stain paper, and it's inked. And so here's the pocket, and in the pocket you can put anything you want. Then this is a bag, which I have embossed with hearts. Let me take the tags out so you can, you can, I don't know if you can see that good enough. But those are nice embossed hearts that I've inked with pink. So you can put a lot of stuff in there. And these tags come in there. Very pretty. And they are plain on the back. And then over here, where we've got more flaps, this is a CD envelope, and I've decorated the inside and the outside. Very pretty. This picture does not come out, but if you lift it up, you'll see there's tags here, Paris tags. And they're blank on the back as well, and I'm sure they are. <laughs> And underneath that flap is this uh, journaling spot 
you can just open it and write in there. And here we have a little tuck spot, and I've put some tags there uh, that you can write on the back or on the front, whatever you want to do. Belle la vie, beautiful, okay? And then you can open this up like that. Let's see. And this is a notepad here of coffee stained paper that you can write on. Let's see if I can get this in camera better. I'm, I'm still learning how to use a camera, so please, uh, I apologize. And with all these flaps going around, <laughs> it's hard to keep it all together. Okay, and under here I just put some suitcases for your voyage, and it's just a decoration. But here you have your, your notepad, all right, for journaling. And this is a bag, and it has two pockets, some tickets here, or tags, I should say and tags in here and it also says dream big and with love and then it pulls down and on the back of that flap is another mannequin uh, image and inside that I've put this little notepad that you can open and you can write on it just goes in there like that and you also have all this journaling area here when you open the flap. And even when you close, you have a good journaling era, uh, area. So we'll close that up. Come back over here. These are so hard to film. Okay, then you open this. And down here, let's just do the center since we're here, is a flip up. And there's a lined paper, vintage paper, that you can write on. And here is a mannequin tuck spot where you can put your tag here. It sticks right in there. And then inside there's a pocket here. And I've made a mannequin with some uh, tape measure on it and a notepad with some lace on it. And you fold this down. And when you get to that spot, I've put in a piece of paper and I've stamped the very top of it with a Christina Hill stamp from Etsy. And this opens up and you can write front and back on it anywhere you want. And you can tuck it right back in under this pretty tuck spot. And here also, I forgot to mention, is a, a vintage tag but it's only half glued down so that these tickets right here are tags keep, stick right in there and these are you can write on the front here and the front here you can put them other places if you so desire all right and this is this is very pretty it says a kiss to build a dream on and then a, a matching mannequin okay so then we're going to come and close these up here and come back over here and this is an uh, envelope but first of all we have a little mannequin tuck spot here where I can take a little spool of, th of thread and a picture of a vintage woman and it's empty on the back and the envelope is embossed Okay, and then I inked over it with the ink, ink, and this is a paper clip, which, when we open this up, holds in this card here that you can open and you can uh, write on. It's a journaling card, and that just goes back in there. Okay, yeah. Now, I made this envelope back, I made it very, very strain, uh, strong. I put chipboard in there because it was starting to take on the shapes of different embellishments over here, and it was starting to make folds in it that I didn't want, and I didn't think anybody else would want either. So I did that, and she's, 
she stays here. She's not movable. Okay, she's just a embellishment. And then in the center here, I put a Paris flip up, and then you can journal all the way down to there where this pretty embellished uh, end is to that. Okay, so then we close it up, and the pink goes under the blue, all right, and then your folders go, your, your flips go on there when you tie it up. And in the back, now in the back I made it pretty um, plain because you got so much going on in the front and if you want to set this down to open it, I think you, you just needed a, something that would be smooth. But I made a secret pocket here and inside the pocket I made this blank journal. There's nothing in there. There's a couple of decorative pages and the rest are coffee dyed. It's very narrow, probably three inches wide, but it's very long. You can still put a lot in. And it just tucks right in there and nobody will know you even have it if you don't want them to. Okay, so here we are. This is my altered file folder. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. And I don't know if I'll make another one because it's pretty tough to, to film. And it takes a long time to make all these flaps and folds and, and everything else. But I do thank you for coming by and checking out my videos. Bye-bye.